playing out in this war. So far, the U.S. has not confirmed those systems have been sent, but consider the delivery a, quote, major concern. So let's bring in now John Hardy, Deputy Director of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies Russia Program. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Obviously, this new reporting coming out, how, if it is true, how significant is this to what's happening right now in the Middle East? Well, thanks for having me. Um, I think what Moscow is probably trying to do here, if the intelligence is accurate, is deter that larger um, uh, escalation between Israel and, and Hezbollah that, uh, as, as your correspondent said, we're sort of waiting on pins and needles for. I think Russia uh, benefits a great deal from the, the Gaza crisis um, in distracting the West from Ukraine and, and, and sort of cultivating influence in the global South. Uh, but I, I don't think the Kremlin wants to see the conflict uh, widen to include Hezbollah and potentially Iran. There's a lot of risk for, for Russia's posi position in Syria. Uh, including the Russian troops there. Yeah, certainly a lot of countries uh, don't want to see this conflict widen. Um, John, we know the U.S. has an aircraft carrier in the eastern Mediterranean, obviously trying to deter Iran, trying to deter Hezbollah. Does more need to be done, potentially? I think we just have to continue to beat the drum that you know the United States uh, stands ready to respond to Hezbollah or Iranian uh, uh, aggression. I think we also... Uh, While well, the U.S. has been, you know, pretty good in, in um, telling Iran that it, it can't get involved, I think we need to uh, uh, impose harsher consequences for the support Iran has already provided to uh, Hamas and, and Hezbollah and various other terrorist groups in the region, uh, meaning enforcing the sanctions that are on the books against Iran to try to starve them of the revenue that they use to, to funnel to different groups in the region. In, in addition to enforcing that, is there anything else you think that needs to be done? Well, we certainly need to continue providing uh, Israel with the weapons it needs, uh, precision-guided bombs, uh, things of that nature, uh, so it can uh, operate the way it needs to in Gaza and potentially, hopefully not, but potentially uh, against Hezbollah as well. You know, and John, do you think it's, it's possibly only a matter of time before Hezbollah does enter this war in Gaza? That's a great question. Uh, I, I can't say for sure. Um, I'm hoping that Iran sort of wants to keep Hezbollah uh, on the sidelines in reserve as, as sort of a deterrent against Israel. Um, but uh, like like your like your audience here, I'll be waiting myself. Yeah, certainly. My last question for you, John. And you alluded to this, but is this an example of why it is important for the U.S. to continue providing that aid to Ukraine in its fight against Russia? Is this an example of you know truly how everything is connected? Certainly, you know, I think the IDF, the Israeli Air Force, has proven itself more than capable of destroying these systems in the past. They've done so in Syria. So I don't think, you know, one panseer is going to make all that much difference uh, for Hezbollah. Um, but, you know, it's, a, it's an additional wrinkle for Israel, and it could be more significant depending on the number of systems provided. Certainly. All right. John Hardy, uh, we thank you for your time and your expertise. Well, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is reiterating American support for Israel while on his third trip there since the war began. He's also stressing the importance of protecting Palestinian civilians in Gaza.